Hello everybody, in this video I want to review E6 CLI command line with focus on software syntax. Let's begin. E6 CLI software is related to software installation and also management of E6 I image and package and as you can see there is four sub syntax but before I work with them um, let me show you how to check the ESXi uh, version so I run the ESXi ESXCLI system version get and it will display the ESXi version, build number, and so on. As you may know, there is other command that you can use to check the um, version and build number VMware-LV and you can use both of them Let's back to the ESX CLI software syntax. As the first step, I will show you about the VIV option. And run get to gather information about all existing VSVR installation bundle or VIV file inside our ESXi host. There is a lot of useful information about each one of VIB file, um, like um, version, vendor of VIB, summary and description about the VIB and its usage. Also dependency and related payload. But if you want to check a summary of installed VIB, you can run ESXCLI software VIB list. And now it's just the five column. Include name, version, vendor, acceptance level, and date of creation. Also, you can run install and update to install and update existing VIB. Many VIB installation requires a reboot of ESXi, so you should consider the HA configuration inside the cluster. So uh, you need to disable the HA before we start the ESXi host. Both of install and update syntax have similar options and I run ESXCLI software VIB install to check the installation options. As you can see there is a lot of way to install the VIB file like specifying URL or mentioning the offline bundle. You can link to an internal or external HTTP or FTP file server and so on. It's so important to consider maintenance mode because some installation require to enable it. So as a flashback, let me show you how to do it through the ESX CLI. You can run ESX CLI system maintenance mode, uh, get to check the current state and also set dash E1 to enable the maintenance mode. Of course you know during the maintenance mode all virtual machine operation must be stopped so you need to power off them or migrate them to other ESXi hosts inside your VSVR environment. I uploaded two files into the data store of my ESXi host 
before I start the re recording of this video a bundle file and a VIB but now I just install the bundle file however you can run the same command with a little different option for VIB installation as you may know in most of Unix based environment uh, you should mention full pass to the required file and for the ESXi it's the same story okay I will run the command and let me reboot my ESXi host so after rebooting the ESXi you can check the version again through E6 CLI system version get okay it's done and it's if you want to be ensure about a true update operation uh, I will check the version again the E6 I is successfully updated as the final point it's not just a way of upgrading you can also downgrade the E6i version through E6CLI software. Until the next part, goodbye and good luck.